We've already talked about the Inu gene and the Opaline gene. Now let's have a look at the Cinnamon gene. What is it and how to identify it? The cinnamon gene is also sex-linked mutation, comes on the eggs, and it is recessive, which means it is like the Inu and Opaline genes. But before we look at the Punnett square for this gene, let's see how to identify the cinnamon budgie. From the gene's name, we can understand what we are trying to look for. The throat spots, wing markings, and barring on a cinnamon budgie are a lovely warm brown shade. The cheek patches are violet, and their body color will have an even shade of between 50 to 60% of their diluted body color. If you look closely here, you can see my cinnamon next to other budgies, and you can see that instead of having black stripes, she has cinnamon stripes. My cinnamon budgie is also opaline, which we have already discussed the opaline mutation. I will leave a link in the description in case you missed that video. You can see she's an opaline because between the brown stripes she has a blue color instead of white, and that's an obvious sign for an opaline budgie. The cinnamon gene also makes their feet pink, like the Inu gene, which we already discussed that gene as well, I'll keep a link for that video as well. As for the seer color, it is normal seer, meaning mature males get the medium to deep royal blue seer color, and females have light tan blue with white or brown in breeding condition. The cinnamon budgie tail feathers are deep to medium blue depending on the dark factor, as you can see. Now let's move to the Punnett square and understand this gene better. Make sure you have watched the Punnett Square video first, because I'm going to explain this gene as if you already know how to use the Punnett Square. And then come back, so you can understand what we are doing here. So, from the Inu and Opaline gene, we have already covered a lot of possibilities. For example, having two cinnamons is like having two Inus, which means all the offspring will be cinnamon. So let's cover another possibility that we haven't covered in the Inu or the Opaline videos. Let's take a normal female, which means she is not cinnamon. Because if you remember, with X-linked mutation, the females are cinnamon or not, they cannot be carriers. And let's take the male as a carrier for the cinnamon gene. Here what will happen. 25% of the offspring are normal males, 25% are normal females, 25% are male carriers, which means you see them as normal budgies, but they are in fact carrying the cinnamon gene, but it's hidden. And finally, we will have 25% cinnamon females. If you need to try any other possibilities, you can either watch any of the Inno or Opaline videos since they all are X-linked mutations and whatever the Punnett square says about any of those mutations, it is exactly the same for the cinnamon gene. Or you can watch the Punnett square video and learn how to use it, and then you can try any possibility you want. I hope you understood the cinnamon gene better now. See ya in the next episode. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.